today I'm going to cover how to sterilize and sanitize your mini and petty tools. Firstly, I'd like to let you know that there is a difference between sanitization and sterilization. Sterilization requires the use of an autoclave or a bead sterilizer or some very extreme hazardous chemical agent. To sterilize is to kill off all, so therefore 100% of bacteria. Going through the metal tools such as your cuticle knife, your nippers and your clippers, I give them a bit of a scrub. Um, I don't get them too wet, but if I did get them wet, I would wait for them to dry before I put them into the bead sterilizer. The bead sterilizer is made of little glass beads that get to a very, very high temperature in order to kill any bacteria. If you put the metal tools into the bead sterilizer wet, when you get the metal tools out, the little glass beads are often stuck to the metal tool. So you do need to wait for them to dry. The beads in a bead sterilizer take about 15 to 20 minutes to heat up. The tools to be sterilized are immersed into the heated up glass beads and left for a period of time which is specific for each instrument. Anywhere between three seconds to a minute. One disadvantage of the glass bead sterilizer is that the beads are less than one millimeter in diameter so sometimes they get stuck in the instruments or the tools little nooks and crannies so you do have to be careful because if they are stuck on the tools they are hot with plastic tools sterilizing them would mean they would melt so you're left with an option to sanitize plastic tools sanitization is to kill off most of the bacteria but not necessarily their spores which are particularly difficult to kill when you're using a hospital grade disinfectant cleaner you do need to make sure you follow the rules of how to dilute it because it will be ineffective if you dilute it too much so i make up a diluted version ready to go and then that will go into a glass or a votive or just some kind of container that means the tip end of my mani or pedi tool can go into it. I mean this is often how we sterilize tweezers so um, as well. So you'll be using something like um, this Ennis Eye grade, this Ennis Eye hospital grade sterilizer or disinfectant. When it comes to files and buffers, I don't like to get them wet. I feel like this ruins the files and buffers. So instead I give them a dry brush and then I spray them with isopropyl or meths and I let them air dry. Some salons in the United States have rules which means they can't use the file again so they have to snap it and throw it away in front of their client. Other salons will keep that specific file aside in an envelope with their client's name on it so that they can use that specifically for that client each and every time. After using a petty paddle, I scrub the gritty surface with soap and a brush. I soak it off, leave it to air dry, then I spritz it with isopropyl alcohol or OPI NAS or meths. Then I let it air dry again. Some therapists will wear gloves during the whole pedicure for hygiene purposes, but also wear gloves during the tool cleansing just to make sure that you're avoiding warts or the Veruca viruses.